the sloth bear. Sloth bears have lived on the Indian subcontinent for as long as two and a half million years. Mythologically, it is said that Jambavan, king of bears, was created by Lord Brahma to help Lord Rama find his wife and fight the demon King Ravan. But today, their story has taken a turn for the worse. Instead of fighting alongside the gods, sloth bears have been forced into battle with people. And the results can be deadly. But this doesn't have to be the case. Studies of the species show that while sloth bears can be aggressive, it is only in defense. Living, working or traveling alongside sloth bears is a part of your life. But it doesn't have to be life-threatening. In this film, we are going to learn about sloth bears. We are going to learn how to minimize your chances of running into a bear in the wild. We are also going to learn how, if you do encounter one, to de-escalate the situation. And, in the unfortunate case of an attack, we will show you how to save your own life. live in 20 of the 29 states of India, as well as Nepal, Sri Lanka and occasionally southern Bhutan. No matter where they live, sloth bears are considered a keystone species. This means that without them the ecosystem would be out of balance. One reason they are considered to be pivotal to the health of the forest is that they specialize in eating termites and ants. Termites and ants make up nearly half of what they eat the other half being fruits, seeds and sometimes even flowers. On rare occasions, sloth bear will also scavenge meat. But this is a very small part of their diet. They use their long, powerful claws to dig into the earth and break open termite mounds. Their snouts are specially adapted to suck up tiny insects like a vacuum. Adding to their suction power, sloth bear can control their nostrils, opening and closing them in order to keep bugs from going into their noses. Because they specialize in eating termites and ants, individual sloth bears have very small home ranges. Usually, they sleep during the heat of the day in dens, hollows, crevices or under bushes and do most of their foraging at twilight and during the night. However, they can potentially be active any time of the day or night, depending on the conditions. Mothers generally have one or two cubs at a time, which they raise in a den. After giving birth, mother bears sometimes stay in the den for a month or longer without leaving for food or water. When they do finally decide that it is safe to leave, Cubs ride on their mother's backs. Mothers care for their cubs for two to three years and form very strong bonds with their offspring.
Except for mothers with cubs, adult bears live alone. But they often interact with other bears whose home ranges overlap. <coughs> when two bears meet, they will sometimes squabble with each other and grunt and growl, but sloth bears very rarely attack one another. Amongst themselves, they would rather talk it out than fight. When they sense a threat, however, it is a different story entirely. Sloth bear can be tiger's prey and because of this, they tend to react very strongly to any potential threats. If they are surprised, they will fight back. Sloth bear fight with their claws, mouth and an unbreakable spirit especially mothers with cubs. They concentrate on their attacker's face and head in an attempt to quickly end the threat. Sloth bears are not large animals. Adult males are the largest and they weigh at most 145 kgs. Compare this to an adult tiger who can weigh up to 225 kgs. Because they are relatively small, their strong, aggressive reaction to a threat could be the only thing that keeps them from being eaten. Sloth bears have a great sense of smell. They spend hours and hours a day foraging and moving across the landscape with their faces down, sniffing out the next ant colony or termite mound. They are often not looking up, which means they can easily get surprised. And this is how trouble can begin. Bears would prefer to avoid you, just as you would prefer to avoid them. So do your best to make sure they know you are there, well before you get too close. Make noise any way that you can. The best thing to do is to sing. <laughs> If you do not surprise them, it is unlikely that a bear will attack. Carrying a walking stick is a great way to make odd sounds that let bears know that you are in the area. Or maybe you'd prefer to take a bell with you. Play music on your phone if possible. Walk in groups and keep each other engaged in conversation. Avoid going near the forest after dark for any reason. But if you must, carry a torch and make noise. It really doesn't matter how you do it. What is important is that you make yourself very obvious while you move through the forest. But of course, anything can happen. If you see a bear, you must first assess the situation. Did the bear see you? If not, walk slowly away. Go in the direction that you came and leave the area. Do not pursue a bear. Do not run. Sloth bears can run very fast, much faster than humans. It is best to back slowly away. Do not suddenly shout and surprise the bear. You could provoke an attack. Here is just one example of a provoked attack. In this video, a bear seems to have wandered into a field. People surround the bear and shout while throwing stones. They provoke this attack by giving the bear no alternative. She has nowhere else to go and she must defend herself. In a group, 
you can avoid this kind of conflict by always giving the bear an escape route. If you are in a group, come together. Do not surround a bear. If the bear has not seen you, move slowly away. Once you reach a safe distance, make noise as you continue moving away. If the bear has seen you, stay still. Do not make any sudden movements. There is a good chance the bear will simply move off. If, unfortunately, the bear looks like it will attack, drop to the ground and cover your face. In the case that a bear attacks, do not threaten them. Remember, sloth bears only fight in defense. So do not give them anything to defend themselves against and make sure that they have a clear route to escape. It is important to remember that these bears are capable of fighting off a tiger. No matter how strong you may be, you are not likely to win a fight with a sloth bear. So do not fight back. It is best to drop to the ground and cover your face. By doing this, you are making yourself non-threatening and giving them the chance to run. And most likely, that is exactly what they will do. Hopefully, you are never faced with this kind of an encounter. If you sing to the bears, it is possible that you will never encounter one. But no one can promise that you will be safe. The information in this film is based on scientific studies and included the analysis of more than 1,800 sloth bear attacks. From that wealth of knowledge, the suggestions put forward are known to be the safest methods to avoid bears and to survive an attack. For example, there are no documented cases of a person being killed by a sloth bear after dropping to the ground and protecting their head. So let's take a moment to review. If you surprise a sloth bear, it sees you as a threat. So do not surprise them. Let them know where you are by making noise in any way that you can. Bears would rather avoid people. By making yourself obvious, you are giving bears the chance to leave you alone. If you do see a bear, do not threaten them. Make sure that the bear has a clear means of escape. Do not make any sudden movements or sounds and walk slowly away. And finally, if it looks like the bear is going to make contact with you, protect yourself. Drop to the ground and cover your face so that you can live to see another day. <laughs>